Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Whenever you are watching this, I do want to welcome you to the Center for Energy Education's series on careers in solar. My name is Philip Harris. I'm an attorney in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I've work been working in the solar field for nearly four years. What I do is I assist solar clients with matters involving land use law. What are land use law? Land use laws govern how the land and the property that we own is managed through municipalities and counties. This includes how those areas are zoned, what can be, the, can be built there, and what cannot be built there. Um, my representation typically includes representing clients before county and local boards that can determine um, when solar projects and solar clients uh, will require approval to, to build solar projects. I also have an opportunity periodically to review contracts, deeds, um, permit applications, et cetera, to assist our clients in building these solar projects. Lastly, I also do participate as a, as a litigator, and, and sometimes there are lawsuits that involve these solar projects, and I assist my clients during the process of those lawsuits. How did I arrive at my career? Originally, after I graduated from undergrad in, in Brown University, I decided to be an engineer and a supervisor. So I worked for a variety of years at a manufacturing plant in eastern North Carolina. After working at that plant for six years, the one thing I realized is I was a pretty good engineer and I was a pretty good supervisor, but I thought I would be a better attorney, and I think that's been the case. So I went into law school, and my goal was to originally become a patent attorney where I would um, review and, and submit patent applications for various inventions, you know, just based on my engineering background. But when I got there, I fell in love with litigation. I loved it because it was almost like being in a football game. You're matched up against an opponent, and is your argument, is your team better than the other team? And I enjoyed that thrill, and so I actually went into litigation. As an attorney for these solar companies, what I get to do is I get an opportunity to appear in front of a variety of boards and county and local boards that actually have to approve these applications. Um, these boards exist nearly everywhere, particularly all across the state of North Carolina. They include boards for particular counties or particular cities. And I offer legal representation to my clients before these boards. These boards have to make the determination as to whether the solar projects fit the requirements of that municipality or county's ordinances that relate to, um, to development, and, and in particular development with respect to solar projects. With this job, I get an opportunity to, to help people in particular with um, you know, building solar farms that can help replace fossil fuel, fossil fu the fossil fuel industry with cleaner power. You also get an opportunity to help folks in the community because these development projects bring in extra revenue to the community, whether that's tax revenue, whether that's different jobs, and whether that's um, improved jobs for folks who live in the community. So how did I end up working in the solar industry? Well, my firm assists solar clients in much of what they do. Um, that includes getting real estate, buying real estate. That includes, um, that includes permitting from an environmental perspective. That includes permitting from a utilities perspective. And that also includes the permitting from a land use perspective. So it was a natural fit that I would, um, I would join and, and, and help in these efforts. One of the key things in my experience that helped me to get there was um, about four or five years after I had begun practicing the law, I joined what's called a Board of Adjustment. And the Board of Adjustment is one of those boards that I mentioned previously, the board that reviews these applications. I had no idea what it was. All I knew was that it was quasi-judicial. So that sounded like something that me, a litigator, somebody who appears in front of judges, would want to do. I had no experience or anything. I was virtually worthless for about the first year or so I was there. But what I did learn is I learned a lot about land use and how the land is being used in the community I'm in, how it's being developed, what people are coming into the community, what different projects are being promoted, and how to review those applications and review those, review those projects. And one of the things that came in most recently was solar projects. And they were very inter they're, they're very interesting because they take up a huge amount of space, but we all know the benefits fits to solar power. It's cleaner than fossil fuels, it's, um, and, and it takes up less space and it's less polluting. So it was a great, it was a, you know, great projects that came through our area. So after working on the Board of Adjustment for seven years, um, I decided to actually add that to my practice. I had a lot of experience, and so I decided to offer my services to our solar clients who we were helping in a variety of other ways. And I've been able to help these clients beyond just the, get, pursuing the real estate and beyond just, um, just the environmental permits. And now we help them throughout the entire process from beginning to end. So what is the favorite part ab about my job? 
So as an attorney, there's a lot of cool things. Number one, you get to dress up in a suit all the time. Um, and so that's always, that's always a good perk. But there's two things in particular that I really want to share with you. Number one is I get to work with a variety of talented people. And these people include the um, town council members, the county commissioners. It, imp it, in it includes the planning staff who review these applications. It includes my clients and, and all the representatives and the team that we bring together. These people are uber talented. They, they are very talented at what they do. They understand the law. They understand what their community needs. And it's heartening because, you know, in, in, in current times, we're like in a politically divisive time. But to see the people on the ground doing this work, it's heartening. It tells you that the folks who are in the local community Communities. They want the best for their communities, and it's great to see them. And they're all talented. They're smart, and they're knowledgeable about their area as well as um, as well as solar projects in general. The second thing I love about um, about my job is to getting to travel to a variety of places in North Carolina. I live in Durham County, and um, I get an opportunity to travel to a variety of counties across the state. I've been from the far west to the far east: Bertie County, Perkwomans, Halifax. Ash County, um, Cabarrus County. I've been all over the state, and it's a tremendous opportunity to see the differences among the state and the commonality between them. And plus, every t every chance I get, I love to stop at some little roadside diner or um, or dive and, and try the local local cuisine. And I've gotten some good tips if you want any. Um, I will leave everyone here with with a little bit of homework because this is one thing that I want you to be able to do, and that is. Um, land use laws are important and we don't really talk about them very much and you don't have any exposure to them. But the one thing I want everyone to do is I want you to find the places that you work, live and play and I want you to find out how they're zoned. Are they zoned as a res residential? Are they zoned as a commercial? Are they zoned as an office area? Are they zoned as industrial? And I just want you to go do that research just to figure out and so you can get a glimpse of how complicated and how uh, impactful land use law is. Um, is. And, and for you, your homework, your middle school and high school students, so you're used to homework. So please go look up and review where your area is located and see what kind of buildings and things can actually be built next door to you or next door to where your school is. Um, lastly, advice, um, advice to someone who's interested in my job. My advice to you is, is pretty simple. You have to find something that you love. Um, when I started becoming a lawyer, I, I thought I wanted to be a patent attorney, but what I found out is patent attorneys sit on their desk all day and just talk back and forth with either patent examiners or their clients, and they just draft documents. I wanted a little bit of action, so I became a litigator, and I went to law school to become a litigator and appear in front of judges and have a chance to, to argue my client's positions, and, it, and it's been fulfilling in that vein. But what also happened is I got exposure to the Board of Adjustment. And with that exposure to the Board of Adjustment, I found another area of law that I had no exposure to that I really enjoyed, and that's land use law, or how, how buildings and developments are done in a particular community. Um, so that's the first piece of advice. Find something you love and just keep rolling with it. You may find something else later, but, um, but when, you, when you get to something you love, roll with it to the extent you can, and, I'm, and you'll be a lot happier for it. I would be a horrible patent attorney because I wouldn't be happy, but I'm a great litigator and I'm a great land use attorney because I've had, uh, those are two things that I love to do, and I'm, I'm impassioned when I go into the courtroom or when I appear in front of these bodies. Another thing is don't be dissuaded. I recently ran into someone who practices land use law and does some of the exact same things that I do. And she mentioned to me that she absolutely hated, <laughs> hated going from county to county and doing these hearings. So for a second, I thought to myself, wow, should, should I hate it too? Am I just weird? Does everybody hate it? No, that was her. That's her experience. My experiences, those are the things I love about my job. And so don't be dissuaded from doing it by what other people may end up, may end up saying to you. One more thing I did want to leave you with is with respect to making a difference. So with my job, um, particularly with, my, with the work that I do for solar companies, I think I make a huge difference in a variety of ways. The first, and probably for me and hopefully for you as well, is the most important is um, the people who lead these meetings where I attend and I petition my client to receive permitting for their solar projects, they typically don't see an African-American attorney. They don't, they don't see people that look like me in positions of authority and in, position, in suits uh, and, and, and doing the same work that typically, um, typically white Americans may do. And, um, and it's, it's every time I step into a courtroom, a courtroom or every time I step into a council chambers or a meeting room, 
it is with great pride that I do that because I'm doing that for everyone who looks like me. And hopefully with the work that I'm doing, it'll make it easier for the next group of people who come along. So that's the, that's the, mo that's the biggest impact I think I can do and the biggest difference I'm making in the job that I do. Secondarily, um, you know, I mentioned it already, we do have an opportunity to, um, to replace fossil fuels dirty and polluting fossil fuels with clean energy, and that's always a, always a net positive. Um, lastly, I, I also get to help communities, uh, and these are communities that are sometimes and, and sometimes predominantly communities of color with new development in their areas. And, and this new development brings both increased money into the community, and it also pr potentially brings increased jobs as well. So these are, these are the things that I am most proud of and the ways in which I feel I'm making a difference. All right, lastly, I will leave you with, with this. I wanna thank you for watching. If you are interested in learning more about diverse careers in the solar industry, visit the Center for Energy Education website at center4ee.org. Again, that's center4ee.org. Thank you.